they're legends. Not just off of all the hits and all the shit they made, but just by being culture icons. And that's why I look to be like a culture icon. Over the last few years, the lifestyle and the music of Atlanta has permeated out of the dope houses and strip clubs and into the mainstream. Characterized by the ominous riffs and aggressive rhythms, the trap scene has gone from being an underground cultural phenomenon to a global and genre-spanning force. Whether you're listening to the singles off the Hot 100, letting loose in a club, or shuffling through your playlist, trap music has become one of the defining aspects of our cultural landscape. The rise of the trap scene can be attributed to a collection of artists from its birthplace, Atlanta, Georgia. Artists like Gucci Mane, T.I., Future, Migos, and many more were essential to bringing trap out of Atlanta. But none of them were perhaps as fundamental to its advancement as Metro Boomin. The 24-year-old producer has been one of the leading men behind trap's infectious melodies and subsonic edge. With hits such as X, Jumpman, and chart-topping Bad and Bougie, Young Metro has become one of trap's most prolific tastemakers. Born and raised in St. Louis, Missouri, Metro Boomin attributes much of his influence not only to the figureheads of Atlanta, but also other Southern artists who have helped lay the foundation for the emerging scene. Really first, Gucci Mane, uh, Jeezy, T.I. But we're saying them, you gotta mention the producers. So it's like, you know, Zaytoven, of course, Zaytoven, Shardy Red, Drummer Boy, Fat Boy, they really pioneered the sound. But even before all the trap now, it's like, you gotta remember, uh, like Memphis, really the whole Memphis sound, that's really what influenced my sound, like Memphis sound. Like I grew up, love 36 Mafia. Cause they, like to me, they just had the best flows, better flows than everybody, better beats than everybody. So they was just always the most interesting. However, unlike his fellow contemporaries, Metro Boomin doesn't rely on any particular signature when he produces his hits. Coming up, a lot of people I looked up to had a signature sound. But I came up and I was always in search of one, trying to find it, trying to create one. I was never really able to have a creative signature sound, you know? So really, it was doing a whole lot of stuff. Back then, I used to look at it as a disadvantage. But now it's something I'm grateful for. I want to keep people guessing. Instead, environment is a much more important factor, specifically the underground music scene of Atlanta. Unlike some other music hubs, Atlanta encourages the producers, DJs, and rappers to form a communal bond with one another. The grind to make it out of the trap and into the Bentley is a cooperative effort. Man, the thing about Atlanta is just everybody just like uh, a lot, a lot. I think a lot more people in Atlanta like work together more often. Like it's really like just okay. Let me turn up. Let me do something with you. All right, let me do something with you. But it all, you know, what I'm saying you all bring it back to your plate. So you really just building your plate up. Like I got my plate. Everybody got their plate, let's all eat. Like, okay, let me eat with you, let me eat with you, let me eat with you. And then it's like, boom, you got all your courses. Metro Boomin and Atlanta's other rising stars will meet at the legendary Patchwork Recording Studios. There, that everybody eats mentality allows Metro to share ideas freely with a close group of collaborators who not only inspire and motivate him, but also create an unrestrained atmosphere. I, I believe a lot in vibes, and how I go with music is really like, I like to make music with people, who I vibe well with, you know, I'd rather make music with my actual friends, you know what I'm saying, like Sunny Digital or Zaytoven, or you know what I'm saying, because even the vibe, everything's organic and you just get the craziest stuff, the best stuff that way. At Patchwork, the line between lifestyle and music begins to blur. The studio becomes the party and that vibe is felt throughout the music, always. Trap music's infectious and honest production is the direct result of artists truly living and expressing their lifestyles. It's a party in the studio, like Atlanta in the studio is not, it's a place of business, you but it's also, out, hope so it's really also a hangout spot too. That's Smoke. why so many just Everybody just, you know, DJ, producer, rapper, just. Everybody just get motivated off each other's yeah. success. Like, like that's who we kick it. And then the night kind of builds from the studio a lot of times. But producing a record with his trusted colleagues is just the first step to securing a hit. After the studio, Metro heads to the infamous Magic City Strip Club. There, among Atlanta's hottest officials and tastemakers, Metro Boomin debuts his latest creations. This is Metro's true test of aptitude. If it's hot enough to make Magic City bump, then the rest of the world will follow. If you're an artist and you want to get your song broke, you're going to come to Magic City because it attracts the artists, labels. Anybody who wants to be in the industry goes to Magic City. If I'm not playing a record Monday night, fuck that record. Metro Boomer, he's the next artist coming out. 
I got him in Magic. Every time he's in Magic, I play a nothing but Metro beats. All these songs you're hearing, Metro, he's in the DJ booth with me. He made all these beats. Culture is a very difficult concept to describe. People often disagree as to what makes a certain environment distinct or unique. To you, a certain aspect of your culture may be more defining than another, while to someone else, its meaning may be something completely different. Like the legends before him, Metro Boomin has masterfully harnessed the very elusive essence and translated it through vibrations. A true culture icon. If you're Metro, don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Beautiful morning, get the sun in my morning, babe. What up, squad? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you can hit the subscribe button. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram by clicking the links below. Until next time, thanks for watching all Deaf Music.